Africa still has an opportunity to reduce and slow down COVID-19 transmission. Early isolation of all cases, including mild cases, is one of the key control measures, along with early detection, early treatment, and contact tracing. Timely and accurate epidemiological data is one of the most important tools to inform the response. We must also protect our healthcare workers and ensure that they are appropriately equipped. There is concern about the impact of the pandemic on countries with fragile health systems and those experiencing complex emergencies. Some countries in Africa may not have adequate intensive care unit capacity such as beds, ventilators, and trained personnel. The international community should extend technical and financial support to these countries to enhance response capacity to minimize the spread of the outbreak. WHO is working across Africa to deliver essential equipment, train health workers, clinicians, and public servants on how best to respond to COVID-19, and to tailor a global guidance to challenging local context. We are working to address global market shortages and ensure reliable and equitable distribution of essential supplies and equipment to low- and middle-income countries, including those in Africa. It is critical that countries do all they can to prevent this pandemic from intensifying further. This means a strong public health response by every arm of government and every part of society.